feature match is brought to you by Perla Wrestling, creators of the world's first online wrestling academy. Check us out at PerlerWrestling.com. And it's a big one, 160 pound pound match. These guys have neither one ever won a Big Ten championship. Let's introduce the finalists. There is Vincenzo Joseph, the two-time NCAA champion, has never won a Big Ten title. And Marinelli from Iowa, getting here out of the number two seed with a hard-fought win in the semis over Wick and Joseph winning by fall over Massa. That was an impressive win, Tim. Probably people ask me, what's the most impressive match you saw? And that was that Joseph Massa match where he just went out there and got after it and, and so solid on his finishes and got a fall against a really, really tough wrestler. And of course, the Wick Marinelli match was another war. See these tight guys both going at it with their collar ties. Mike Chase give a little explanation what he'll take and not take. And now, now uh, uh, Penn State has thrown the brick. And Marinelli gets it. It looked like a takedown, but clearly after the whistle. And the only time these guys have met, Marinelli did win last year, nine to six, in the dual meet. Marinelli winning nine to six. Of course, Chenzo Joseph going on and winning his second. Vincenzo Joseph's the only Nittany Lion to ever win an NCAA title, both as a freshman and a sophomore, beating Isaiah Martinez uh, both times. But it was Isaiah Martinez that has kept him from being a Big Ten champion. Imar from Illinois, obviously a four-timer. And yeah. here's a hands to the face that we're looking at. And I don't see it. I Do don't you? either, Tim, so. No yep. call. Good power ties, and that's what you're gonna get a lot from Marinella here. He likes to work hard with that right hand collar. And he'll, you just saw right there, well, he'll post into that high crotch shot right there. Right. And if he comes over collar, that means if, it, if Vincenzo has a, a collar and he goes over the top, he'll go to the other side. So he's got shots to both sides of the body, but he gets you so focused on getting your head club that you forget about he's really there to attack legs. Both these guys undefeated. Ten undefeated wrestlers in the finals. And these guys have not met this year. They met last year. Marinelli winning the duel. Both All-Americans, of course. Joseph, the two-time NCAA champion. Marinelli, the bull, out of Miamisburg, Ohio, a St. Paris Graham, the second St. Paris Graham athlete in the finals. Of course, Micah Jordan for Ohio State. They were teammates. Well, it, it, the difference that, that Joseph, when he, when he goes overhook with you, when he stops a, a, a man's shot, you know, he's got that inside trip, and that was money for him when he used to go against Isaiah Martinez, particularly in the, uh, uh, the finals. But... Marinelli understands that. He, you see that he comes hard a lot of the time, but you know what? When the, Vincenzo gets into that, when he has that lock right there, he's going to wait for Joseph to go inside trip. And if, if he does, you know, if he just pushes back, he doesn't push into it like his, most opponents do that go down with that trip. So he'll squeeze hard around the waist, take what he has, but he doesn't push with his legs, and so it makes it more difficult for Joseph to get there. Now he's back in on a shot. He's attacked both sides of the body. Joseph is expert at kicking out and turning in right there. Marinelli's key to the really semifinals uh, win over Wick was the first period takedown. Well, these guys are really good. I mean, it's what always impressed me about Joseph is with just his calmness out there, how he doesn't really get out of his breathing pattern too much. And Marinelli wants you to take you into deep water. Joseph from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, is looking forward to a week and a half trying to get his third NCAA title because he prepped at Pitt Central Catholic. And so he'll be getting to wrestle in front of the home crowd. He's very, very gifted. Right there, backing on that shot. This is a good position for him to be in, Marinelli. But he's, there's that overhook right there. Marinelli's got to be careful not to push in too much here because that's when that inside trip shows up. You see how he's hooked the far ankle on it. He's as good as anybody is in the, in the country of keeping that position. That was excellent defense, Tim. Kale Sanderson. 
in his 10th year at Penn State, 13th year as a head coach, of course, 159-0. The last time these guys met, Marinelli had the upper hand. And you can see the position we're talking about here, double overhook, but Marinelli doesn't really drive into it. He just pulls him down here, but he doesn't push into it to make that under, uh, that inside trip work for him. And he's, he's been the most successful at battling that really successful position of Vincenzo Joseph. The escape for Joseph puts him out front 1-0 early in the second period. Yeah, nice job there, and he's working a little bit more for Duck, and now inside trip all the way through. Marinelli gets the points. Just uh, it's deja vu all over again, Jimmy. <laughs> And he does it with squeezing. You notice how he doesn't push in too much? Because if he does, Vincenzo's going to take him over with it, but he just does it with that bear hug and incredibly strong. Does it all with the squeeze. It was like he saw the replay from last year's dual mate and but he did it again, but watch out because now he understands and your point very much as far as Soriano or anyone else, he does not have to push in now. Yeah, it's, and you saw that Joseph went to that inside trip again and Marinelli had his rear end way back. I'm gonna give that to him. 50 seconds left, okay, how do you come back from a 6-2 deficit right now? Well, it's gotta be a scoring opportunity. Look for Joseph maybe to attack the leg that has the, the knee pad on it. He's got a good shot off that. Marinelli was sixth last year here in the championships and sixth in the NCAA championships. And right now, he's out in front, six to two, trying to keep Joseph He's taking being shut out as a Big Ten champion his junior year. Yeah, he's taking Marinelli's taking shots, which is you know, but he's not doesn't have to go ahead and try to finish it unless it's absolutely there. Comes heavy on that head one more time. Let's take a look at the takedown and near fall right there off the post. You notice how he didn't go for the leg. He went right for the bear hug that time and basically just squeezed, bear hugged him, squeezed him down. Didn't drive in too much. You notice how he, his grip slid up the chest a little bit. That's why he was able to go ahead and keep his shoulders down. He's locked more on the waist. I think uh, uh, Marinelli, uh, uh, excuse me, George, uh, Joseph takes him over. Big hill to climb now for Joseph. Starts on top. In the third period, trailing six to two. No riding time advantage for either wrestler. And seven to two with that escape now. So, is there a six point move with Joseph? Well, we know there is. Can he execute it here in the third period of the Big Ten Wrestling Championships at 165 pounds? Well, he's got to time the reach of that, that collar tie right there if he's going to big, get on the leg. But again, it may not be enough. And Marinelli's giving enough ground, and why wouldn't he? You're up 7 2 on a national champ. Now he gets to the leg. Joseph does, cuts across the other side. She's got his chest sealed pretty well on that thigh. Comes up to his feet. Good battle by Marinelli. He goes for the big move in the cradle, and Marinelli's going to put him in trouble here. Locked a little bit higher. Wow, look at the feet come down on the mat. There it is. And yeah. nice job by Marinelli, feeling it all the way. Yeah, he had his butt. Way back, right? Really kind of the same thing we've been talking about since the beginning of the match. Marinelli has that feel in that position. This is something that Joseph will take to the bank, memory banks. Mark Hall next up for the Nittany Lions, watching his teammate get stunned a little bit by Alex Marinelli and Marinelli. He's come through a lot in these last several months. Well, you talk about, you know, Joseph went for the big move because he needed a big move in that situation with the cradle. Marinelli ducked back and then the critical time, again, kept his rear end back and it's almost impossible to inside trip a guy that's got his legs that far back and is that strong. You know, but this whole match, I think that, you know, just early in the match, you saw where Marinelli got to his offense, he got to his single leg, he got to his, his post, uh, head to the outside shot. 
And he was the better in that position right there with the overhook of Joseph. Great. After a disappointing Big Ten's last year, a disappointing sixth place finish in the NCAAs, Alex Marinelli wins a Big Ten championship as a sophomore, fighting through a lot of adversity, personally, injuries, and here he is. Iowa gets a Big Ten, a wrestling champion at 165 pounds. He beats the two-time NCAA champion, Vincenzo Joseph. And there's the happy Tom Brands, the head coach. And here's the critical position, that post and coming up around the waist, but staying off, but really getting aggressive at that point in time and knocking him down with that bear hug. And here, he's got those hips way back, slides it back through. You can tell they've been working on that inside trip the way he uh, handled that position. Let's go to Shane with Marinelli. All right, Alex, you know Vincenzo Joseph very well. What was the game plan coming in? Where was that match won? The match was won by my attacks, not his. I don't care what he has. I care what I have, you know what I'm saying? So that was the game plan. I don't really know what's going on right now, but that was the game plan. That is the 200th Big Ten Championship in program history. That has to mean a lot. It's been a tough year for you. A lot of adversity. What does this title mean to you? Uh, it means everything. Uh, that's, that's for Eli, you know. Um, uh, the first match, when I wrestled Wick, as soon as I got on top, I looked at the Eli patch. It gave me motivation throughout the whole tournament. So, Congratulations, Bull. Thank you. Thank you.